Hello, this is Progressions and Series Lesson 2.5. In this, I will discuss questions on AP. First question is the sum of three terms in AP is 27. Their product is 585. Find the terms. Now, first try, you should try to solve yourself. Then look at the way I have solved. Now, this question I can solve in two ways. First, by a general method. Uh, you know that three terms in AP, you can take three terms as A, A plus D and A plus 2D. I am just taking the first three terms. You can take any three terms. I am just seeing the first three terms. Now, what the question says is there is sum. Sum, if you do this, this there is sum. Sum of three terms is 27. If you sum this, it will become 3A plus 3D is 27. It means that A plus D is equal to 9. This is what I got. A plus D is equal to 9. Product A into A plus D into A plus 2D. This is given to us 585. Put the values of uh, A and D. A plus D is 9. What is A? A is D minus 9. Put the value of A as from here you will get A is equal to 9 minus D. Sorry, not D minus 9. This is 9 minus D into 9 this is come a is 9 minus d plus 2d this product is 585 so we'll get 9 minus d into 9 into 9 plus d as 585 this a plus b into a minus b you know that a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square this will get 81 minus d square this is 585 by 9 this 9 will get divided 9 6 are 54 9 5 are 45. So you will get d square as 81 minus 65 that is 16. You got d square as 16. Uh, what will the value of d? Now d square is 16. d could be either plus 4 or minus 4. So we got two values of d and what will be ap? Uh, when you got d as plus 4, so I am just making we have a plus d is equals to 9 i am taking d as plus 4 uh, a plus d is equal to 9 you can take d as minus 4 now when the d is plus 4 so a is 5 so terms are 5 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 4 13 these are three terms of an ap or when the d is minus 4 a will get 13 so 13 9 and 5 these will be three terms so two pet series will come two pattern 5 9 13 or 13 and 5 these are the terms you can see that their sum is 27 and their product is 585 that was a bit lengthy method now can you think of any other method now very important whenever you need to take three numbers in ap you can take them as a minus d a a plus d Again, you see that this satisfies the criteria of AP. What is the criteria of AP? Criteria is that the difference between any two consecutive terms must be same. Here is the difference of this minus this. A minus A minus D. This difference is D. A plus D minus A. This difference is D. And that is what it makes a arithmetic progression. The difference between the any two consecutive terms must be same. Now, what is the advantage of taking the terms like this? You can straight, straight away say that sum. There are some some would be how much some would be a minus d a a plus d this will be 3a and this is given to you at 27 you get a as 9 product product this is a minus d into a into a plus d this is 585 so can i say that a square minus d square a plus d into a minus d a square minus d square uh, into a is 9 585 again you got a put the values so again a this is 9 square minus d square is equal to 65 so again d you will get plus minus 4 and that is far easy method as compared to the previous one so very important whenever you need to take the three numbers in ap you can take them as a minus d a a plus d depending on upon the requirement the benefit is that when you uh, add this number you can simply add this will give you the value of a same way, can you take the four number in AP? Same way, uh, what about when the four numbers are in AP taken? Four numbers are in AP. If it is given to you that four numbers are in AP, you can take them as 
a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d or you can take them as a minus 3d a minus d a plus d a plus 3d these four numbers can also be in ap what is the advantage is that advantage is that when you add this number when you add this number you will get 4a all d terms will be get cancel out and that is what is give advantage here whenever the sum of four terms of an ap is given to you you can take the terms as a minus 3d a minus d a plus d and a plus 3d now very important to remember that here the common difference in this case the common difference cd common difference is 2d not d common difference is 2d same way can you take the five numbers whenever you took the five numbers in ap five numbers in ap five numbers in ap either you can take like this a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d a plus 4d or you can take them as a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d a plus 2d what is the advantage of taking the five numbers like this because if you calculate the sum in this case whenever sum is given constant to you you can straight away say that sum will be 5a all the d terms will get cancelled out sum will be 5a that is the advantage of taking five numbers like this this whenever sum is given to you as constant so very important in this question i discussed how to take the terms in ap three terms you can take as a minus d a a plus d four terms and five terms how to take and to solve the question in the in the faster manner next question is angles of a quadrilateral are in ap with the common difference 10 find the angles of the quadrilateral now you know that in a quadrilateral there are four angles it means that we need to take the four angles which are in ap now i just told you in the previous question how to take four numbers in ap because we know that sum of all the four angle angle number 1 2 3 4 their sum will always be constant in a quadrilateral 360 degree sum of all the angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degree I'm just taking angle, this angle is 1, this angle is 2, this angle is 3, this angle is 4. The sum is 360 degree. I just told you whenever the sum of some few terms in AP is constant, you have to take the terms differently. Either you can take the uh, angles of a quadrilateral as A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D. They are also in AP. But I will take A minus 3D, A minus D, A plus D, A plus 3d i just discussed in the previous slide advantage is that when you add this you will get the value of a straight away you know that let's assume that these are the angles of a quadrilateral here very important common difference is equals to 2d not d common difference is 2d add these terms add this if you add this what you will get sum of all the four angles in a quadrilateral a minus 3d a minus d sum of four angles i'm taking these are angles this angle number one this is angle number two this is angle number three this is angle number four so sum of all the four angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degree the best advantage is that when you add the d will get cancelled out you will get 4a is equal to 360 degree a is 90 degree you know the common difference common difference is given to you at 10 very important is note d which is 10 it is 2d so 2d the common difference cd common difference is 10 what is d d is 5 now you straight away get your terms your terms was a minus 3d a minus d a plus d a plus 3d a minus 3d this will become 90 minus put the value of d 90 minus 15 this is 75 90 minus uh, this is 5 this is 85 this is 95 and this is 105 this that will be the four angles of a quadrilateral 75 85 95 and 105 i have put the values of a and d so that's how taking the four terms uh, intelligently and by common sense can save you, you a lot of time next question 3 find the number of common terms there are two arithmetic provisions given to us we need to find the number of common terms now find first ap first ap and second ap 
टू ए पीज आर गिवन टू अस फर्स्ट ए पी इज थ्री सिक्स नाइन ट्वेल्व एंड सो ऑन सेकेंड ए पी इज फोर एट ट्वेल्व सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी एंड सो ऑन नॉट द इम्पोर्टेंट कंसेप्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट द कॉमन टर्म्स कॉमन टर्म्स आर आल्सो इन ए पी वेन एवर टू ए अर्थमेटिक प्रोडक्शन आर गिवन टू एस देर कॉमन टर्म्स विल आल्सो बी इन ए पी कॉमन टर्म्स आर आल्सो इन ए पी विद कॉमन डिफरेंस देर कॉमन डिफरेंस डी इज इक्व टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एल सी एम ऑफ डी वन एंड डी टू द कॉमन डिफरेंस ऑफ द कॉमन टर्म्स विल बी द एल सी एम ऑफ डी वन एंड डी टू लेट्स दिस इज ए ए पी डी वन वट इज दट कॉमन डिफरेंस इन द फर्स्ट ए पी यू कैन से दिस इज डी वन इज थ्री वट इज डी टू कॉमन डिफरेंस दिस डी टू इज फोर सो वट आर न्यू ए पी ऑफ कॉमन टर्म्स सो कॉमन टर्म्स common terms will also in ap with a common difference common difference common terms will also be in ap with a common difference d that is lcm of in this case d1 and d2 3 and 4 that is 12 so it means that common terms will also be in ap arithmetic progression and their common difference will be 12 you can verify this uh what is the common first ap you can see that first ap i am just making first ap is 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 and so on second ap this is 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 and so on now you can see that the common terms first common terms in these two aps you can see that is 12 12 is the first common term and here it will be 24 and that's common term is 24 now you can see that the common terms are also in ap so common terms are 12 24 look at the common difference the difference is d common difference d is 12 i just told you that whenever two Uh, arithmetic progression we take their common terms will also be in ap with a common difference d as lcm of d1 and d2 in this case is 12 so common terms will be 12 24 next common term will be 36 you can check this 36 will come 24 27 then 30 33 and 36 let's you can you see that 36 will come in this series in this series also 32 and 36 so very important uh, that will be the ap common terms will also be in ap with a common difference d as 12 so how many common terms we can have see the last term is in the first ap is 144 so we can take till 144 that will come in both the ap so 12 this is 12 into 1 this is 12 into 2 this is 12 into 3 a last term could be 12 into 12 that is 144 so how many terms common terms we have 144 we can take because 144 will come in the first ap first ap 1 144 is there second ap it will also be there and so so number of common terms will be 12 in this case the number of common terms will be from 12 into 1 12 into 2 up to 12 into 12 so 12 terms will be the common terms in the both ap Next is that log of three power x, log of three power x minus nine, log of three power x minus seventeen. They are in arithmetic progression. We need to find the value of x. Let's. Uh, we know that whenever three terms are in AP, A, B, C are in AP. Assuming that they are in arithmetic progression, what is the basic concept? We know that the difference between any two consecutive terms in AP. It means that B minus A will be equal to C minus B. Whatever be the B minus A. Same will be C minus B. From here you will get two B is equals to A plus C. It means that whenever two three terms are in AP, the twice or middle term will be equal to first term plus third term. As you can see that if three four five, you can know that they are in AP with the common difference one. Twice of four will be equal to three plus five. Whenever three numbers are in AP, twice or middle term will always equal to first and third. Same concept we apply. 
so let's assume that this is a this is b and this is c i am assuming that they are a b c so twice of b they are in a p so twice of b will be a plus c uh, we know that our b is this is 2 log 3 power x minus 9 this is log a is r log 3 power x plus c is log 3 power x minus 17 now we know that power will come forward in the log because we know that x log a we know that x log a is always equals to log a power x so same with this become power log of 3 power x minus 9 this is whole square log a plus log b log a plus log b is equal to log a into b this is log 3 power x into 3 power x minus 17 so log and log will get cancelled out this is 3 power x minus 9 whole square will be equal to 3 power x into 3 power x minus 17 and that is what you left now here you have two options either you can try with the help of uh, options put the option whichever option will satisfy you will get your answer here uh, option, I am putting option number 4 x is equal to 4 will satisfy because you get 3 power 4 minus 9 whole square 3 power 4 3 power 4 minus 17 this is 81 minus 9 72 square is equal to 81 into 64 these two are always equal you can check that these two are equal now with the option it may take some because we have to check all the four options so better to solve by the uh, simple equation method so what you have i'm just solving here you have 3 power x minus 9 whole square this is equals to 3 power x into 3 power x minus 17 now what i will do i will take 3 power x as y very important you have to take 3 power x as y so you get y minus 9 whole square this is y into y minus 17 apply open the square a minus b square a square plus b square minus 2ab 18y this is y square minus 17y so y square y square good cancel out 18y go here become plus so 81 is equals to y now what is the value of put the value 3 power x is equals to y y is 81 so 3 power x is 3 power 4 x is equals to 4 so you can also get very easily the answer as x is equals to 4 very important question whenever the three numbers are in ap the twice or middle term middle number will be equal to first plus third and then you apply the log concept and you will get your answer so that was all about a progression in series lesson 2.5 questions on ap thank you